In this video we will be looking at inserting a citation for articles from journals, magazines and newspapers. Firstly make sure your references tab has been selected and that the style selected is APA 6th edition. Then we're just going to place our cursor where we want to insert our in-text reference. Go to insert citation and if you are going to add a new source select add new source but we're actually going to use one that we've already added. Firstly we're just going to have a look at the edit source. Now if you're adding a new source you'll notice that you have two choices for articles. One is journal article and one is article in a periodical. I generally select journal article uh, for the more scholarly type of articles particularly if you can identify a volume and an issue number. Article in a periodical tends to be used for magazine articles and newspaper articles and magazine articles in particular that perhaps do not have volume or issue numbers but may be identified by say uh, a month, April, May, June or by a season such as winter or spring um, or may in fact have a particular date such as a, um, a day like a newspaper article which would actually have a day, month and a year. This one here is for a journal article. We've entered our authors in here and the title here is the title of the article. Notice the capitalization used is only at the beginning of the title, the beginning of subheading and for any proper nouns. The journal name, however, you'll notice that the capitalization is generally used for every word apart for, from minor words such as of and the. You enter the year and the page numbers, the beginning to the end page numbers for the article and enter the volume number and the issue number. If you've retrieved the article electronically you would either enter a DOI if it's known or you would enter the URL. APA doesn't actually advise using database names as a general rule, it actually um, advises using the home page address for the particular journal articles. So for example you might identify that by doing a Google search for economic record and putting in the home page address for the journal in here. We're actually just using the database name for the sake of simplicity at this TAFE level but you might need to check with your particular institution uh, what will actually be required. The other thing we'll note here is that because we've actually used the names of the authors within the sentence we don't need to repeat it within our in-text citation. So we're going to edit our citation and because we've actually made a quote, direct quote here we will actually include the page number and we want to suppress the author but we'll also need to suppress the title because that will be the next choice to show. We only need the year and the page number showing. Such as this. So we'll go have a look at our second example here now. We've done a quote here and on this occasion we've made a quote from a newspaper article. So you'll notice our in-text citation here is using the title. Let's have a look at the details that have been entered for this one. So this one a newspaper article, so we've used the type of source as article in a periodical. We couldn't identify an author for this article, which is not unusual in a newspaper, so we leave that blank. Enter the title of the newspaper article title of the periodical, in this case it's a newspaper. A newspaper article would have a day, a month and a year. Some magazines may only have the month and the year. If it only includes seasons, instead of using the month, just enter in the name of the season in the month field here. The page numbers, and it would be beginning to end page numbers if it was more than one page. 
and if we'd retrieved it electronically such as from the website we would include the URL of the website the home page address of the um, particular newspaper would be sufficient or if it had a DOI that could be identified you would include that instead once again we've actually done a direct quote here so we do need to include the page number by editing our citation and just including our page number there so because the author could not be identified the in-text citation reverts to the title